Hey Cancers, welcome to your reading for Libra season. I'm fighting the sun here, so I hope you can see. Um, I've blocked all the windows and everything. Okay, Cancers, if you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the different kinds of videos I post each month. And I'll leave information about what decks of cards I'm using in the description box. And anything else you may need, um, my email for personal readings and my Instagram, anything you like. Discontentment and bored. Okay, Cancers, I feel here in this card that you've been living a safe life away from the outside world that are going to hurt you. Let's face it, um, you give a lot of love out into the world, Cancers, and just because you're a very loving person and have so much love to give doesn't mean that people are always loving back. So I feel like you've been, become bored of living this way, you know, um, hiding away from the rest of the world, even maybe rejecting offers even here um, because... You know, you end up hurt and people end up not being who they say they are. You end up rejected. So you may have been rejecting people before they even reject you. Nine of Cups. But as we head, um, you know, into Libra season here, I feel like the universe wants to bring balance for you. Not only this self-love and yourself that you've been working on and, you know, learning to fill your own needs. We was here to love. And look at all this water. Nine of cups, four of cups here. You have so much love to give. And I feel like it's time for balance to happen now. To allow um, an offer that maybe you're not seeing come towards you. Maybe it's a very loving offer. But you might just be seeing offers at the moment as dangerous. Like once I let people in, they're going to hurt me here. But, you know, once you love from nine of cups from a full cup and you don't ignore signs and you call people out or don't let people treat you a certain way you'll never be hurt like that again so nines in numerology they refer to end endings of cycle so maybe you've had to learn to love again and it had to start with you where else could it start here so you might be a little bit bored and discontented with life at the moment um, and that's because we are social beings and you have so much love to give that, you know, you need to share it as well. That's part of loving, right? Um, 21, this is the universe. This is what I'm talking about. Um, it's time for things to come into balance. You've learned this lesson, you know, um, learning to love yourself. You may have even had to experience it the hard way. Um, because as I look at this universe card, I can see all the different mixtures, good, bad and beautiful, right? Um, the universe is not here to hurt you. It's here to guide you to grow. And yes, I feel like you've probably experienced something tough love even from the universe to get you to this place where you're in love with yourself and loving yourself and healing yourself and looking after yourself, taking great care of yourself. But it can get lonely with that four of cups there. And the universe is saying, we don't want you to be lonely here. Five of swords. So you kind of feel like, you know, there's always some challenge and some obstacle. Every time I try to love, um, it seems like a lose-lose situation. I'm always waiting for maybe Mercury retrograde here to bring a lover back from the past or to heal a connection that I've given my altar. The universe is saying if you've gave your all and it didn't work, you have to stop giving your all and allow other people to put the energy in as well. I mean, look at this guy. He has all the swords, but at what cost? Once he's separated himself from the world and other people here, it can get quite lonely. And I feel like you're doing a wonderful job, but, you know, it can become a lonely experience being alone. The nine is related to the hermit. So we see, you know, work on yourself, loving yourself, but also alone. So I feel you could be quite lonely, Cancer, and missing a connection in your life. But you fear that every time I let somebody in, it's a lose-lose situation. 
Maybe you feel like they always win over you and always hurt you. How much you've loved and put out there is within yourself. I always tell people, I think it's mainly even in the cancer videos, close your eyes and imagine being in love and having fun with a person and it feels great. Really take time to sit and do it. Um, and it feels so wonderful when you imagine it and you can see it and you can feel it. That's because the love is in you. All that love you desire is within you. And I feel like with this nine of cups, that's what you had to learn. So now the universe wants to fulfill your wishes here. I know you feel like, okay, well, there's challenges and obstacles with the five of swords. If there wasn't ups and downs in life, we're flatlining. Ten of pentacles. So you just want like that happy home, that security, that love that lasts a lifetime. No woman truly wants to have to end a relationship and give herself to a new person. I see that in here with you guys. I feel that, you know, once you found a place that's comfortable, you want to stay there forever. This is your home. This is your family. This is your legacy here. Um, and like I said, no woman wants to then go give herself to a new person, you know, all the secrets, giving her body and things like that. But I feel like this time, it'll be worth it. Just give love another chance here and it'll be worth it. Another 10 has jumped out. Um, the 10 of wands. So it's like every time you meet somebody or in love with somebody, you have these great plans and you might even have started a family with uh, some of them or one of them. And, you know, it always ends up you carrying the burden of the family, you giving all your love and maybe not getting it back here and feeling like you end up in a situation of loss rather than, you know, the Ten of Pentacles remaining there. The one thing about life is everything changes. So sometimes a great situation can change, but also so can the bad situations can change. So if you know you was in a good situation and it changed, then know if you're in a bad situation, that can also change. We see tens are about endings of cycles, about, you know, finishing things up here. Okay, it's time to finish up doing all the hard work alone. It's time to drop the burden and allow in what the universe wants to bring in for you here. Obviously, this is a general reading. Um, so it'll be individual to each of you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. The seven of cups, okay? And it's reverse. Scorpio just got this as well. And I said, you know, a Scorpio might be meeting a cancer. So cross watch that and see if it resonates. Um, even if you haven't got a Scorpio soulmate yet, they may be coming into your life. They may be the one there. Um, it could also be a Pisces with the seven of cups. I've noticed lately that a lot of water signs seem to be um, finding each other and connecting each other and maybe understanding each other better when I've been doing personal readings. So it seems like there have been a lot of choices out there, maybe even a lot of offers made to you. Um, you could have been refusing all offers, um, but it's time to open up. OK, it's time to pick one here. The universe is saying, look, decide what you want so that it can come to you now. Don't go backwards and forwards saying, I want this, I wanted that, or, you know, I don't want this and I don't want that. Decide so that it can come to you here. Maybe you're having some funny dreams and their messages from the universe here, because as you see, the, it's on the universe card. So you could be having funny dreams um, and this is messages from the universe. It's saying drop the burden. You no longer have to be lonely. And the Prince of Swords. So you're worried about, you could even be worried about what people will say or people being dishonest and things like that. Um, but I feel like if you're standing in your own integrity, then that's what you'll bring in as well. You may feel like, it's not happening quick enough with the Knight of Swords reversed or people aren't acting right towards you. Um, well, that's very easy. Don't accept those people. Decide what you do want, right? If they make you an offer and that you see the red flags, don't accept. You can end that at the beginning. You don't have to go through an experience, a learning process every time. 
So the Hierophant reversed. Um, could be that you was dealing with a Taurus and you learned a lesson the hard way via them. Um, but this is a lesson learned nonetheless. And seeing delays after you completed a le lesson, maybe because you didn't want to put yourself out there due to fear of being hurt again, right? I understand. It's tough because it's very ex exhausting learning to get over it every time. But if we're honest with ourselves and notice the red flags at the beginning, we don't have to go through the whole draining process there. The magician. So it's definitely manifesting for you now. And again, look, he's looking in the book, but he has all the things he needs on the table. So it's, it's saying stop looking for signs and answers now. Just decide. This is manifesting for you. Just decide now. Just decide what it is you desire so that um, the universe can bring it to you. The seven of swords reversed. Again, Scorpio had two sevens reversed. They had the seven of pentacles reversed and the seven of cups reversed. So here you might be, let's say, worried about oh, getting lied to or cheated on again. But we can't, you know, you're not the same as everybody else. So nobody else could possibly be the same as everybody else as well. We're all individual and different here. It could be a negative way of thinking that's going on with this seven of swords reverse. So a low self-esteem because you haven't put yourself out there or shared your body with somebody in a long time. OK, um, so this can be easily overcome by changing the way you think. Listen to positive um, mantras or affirmations, things like that. But it says the challenges are now being removed here, the obstacles, four of pentacles. So this can indicate somebody holding on to their singledom too much, too tight. And this is why they feel they're not get, receiving anything, but you're holding on too tight. It can be that somebody's holding on to you um, too tight as well. And, you know, even though they lied and cheated and was dishonorable with the Knight of Swords reverse, treated you badly and the Five of Swords there, you both ended up losers. It might be that this person tries to make you an offer during this time. And I guess with the Hierophant reversed, it may say you didn't learn your lesson, so you can learn it this time. Um, Three of Pentacles. So it's about trusting the foundation that you've built here, that it's strong enough to hold you and stepping out into the world again here. Good luck, guys.